just didn't work. We were just arguing over bills, kids chores, me being a stepmom, it was really hard and I'm just over it and I'm ready for it to be my space again. Erin and we're doing a huge clean with me because her boyfriend just moved out of her place and we're trying to wash all that away. Driving. My fiance and I ex now. We've been together for four years. We were supposed to be married on a cruise in October. And I had two kids from his previous marriage that lived with us and so I had gotten this big house for everybody for his kids and our baby. And I'm not very strict with somebody else's kids. I don't feel comfortable telling someone else what to do but whenever I did try it just didn't work out and it was just really hard. Blended families are so hard and we had so many arguments over cleaning and chores. Honestly repeated arguments over the same thing. You know I would say your kids need to help clean he would not tell them that they need to clean and tell me i need to tell them to clean even though they're in their teenage years so we had started doing like couples therapy and we kind of thought that we could make it work we ended up going like to the desert and screaming affirmations and all these things but when we just came back it just kept not working and so finally he ended up leaving and this time he took his kids and so like i have my house back a little bit and i can start my massage therapy business there wasn't enough privacy so now with his son's gone like i actually have room to do my businesses okay the bathroom is is not that dirty except for look at the toilet that needs a lot and the shower needs some attention but overall it's such a cute bathroom we're mostly just deep cleaning and taking care of the details that, so that she can live here and get every bit of peace everything uh, from her boyfriend out and put her stuff in because this used to be her boyfriend's son's bathroom and looks like they left some surprises yes so we we'll just be getting rid of this stuff because I don't think they're going to use it. Throwing it away and then putting all of my girly stuff back in here. So actually I'm a massage therapist so um, this will be a room that I use for clients. So I just want to make it really nice and pretty and out with all and in with the new. <laughs> A lot of times we've been playing this on and off game where we would argue and he would leave, never took the kids with him. This time he left, he took the kids and I kind of knew it was over. So, you know, I just been feeling really sad, really anxious, really upset at him for leaving me alone with all the bills and all the debt that we had because we started a business together. So we had a lot of debt from that business and all the bills and everything, it was all on me and he was making all the money from the business. So he kind of just left me with all of the crud. We're gonna get married on a cruise ship heading to Belize this October and my fiance just took all of his stuff. So we're doing our revenge cleaning today. This is his oldest son's bathroom and it's always girls and honestly, I am glad to just clean it and it'd be nice now. So he left all his stuff here and he kept saying that he was gonna come get his stuff, but he never would like come get it. And finally one night, like I just came home after swimming all day with my son. He was here with the moving truck and we moved everything out. So finally I kind of got his things gone. I feel, I feel, I feel so. This is probably the worst design shower I've ever seen because it has these grooves under here and what gets under there? Mold and we gotta get it off. So when you're buying a shower, look for one that's easier to clean than this. And there's also that gap right there that I need a, something like a butter knife or toothbrush to get in there really good. But the good news is, it's coming up. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. So Jan and I have been friends for about a year and a half now and she came to help me because she knows what I've been through and it's just helping me get it all clean again. And so it's kind of like like a revenge cleaning. We met through a business group on Facebook actually, and we had lunch together with her and her son, and we were we've been friends ever since. So I'm gonna put some vinegar on the 
the shower faucet and everything, it's just gonna shine it up and make it look really great. I found my way. I found my way. don't know this about me because you just see me cleaning or just my hands, but I have a story. It's that I was a single mom of a two-year-old son many years ago. I was married for eight years and I had to start all over. So I had to rebuild my life. I had been a stay-at-home mom for a year so I didn't have a job when I left. I had just gotten a brand new job and really it was bottom for me um, financially and and emotionally. And so I made this pact that if I ever could help another single mom, I would. I've been happily remarried for 15 years now, so it's been a long time ago, but I still have this really tender spot in my heart. Whoa, ta-da! So when Erin was going through this, my heart went out to her because she has a two-year-old son and is a single mom. And that's the position I was in, about the same age too. And so I thought, what can I do to help? I helped her with things I've learned to reclaim my life and to rebuild it. But in my life now I clean, you know, for YouTube. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna offer to help her clean and get rid of all those reminders of her past life and help her move forward because it's something very therapeutic that I found is helping you clear out the old, the dead, and then you make room for what you love now and for your new life or what you really want. We have a whole new show, a whole new series called Loved or Dead that's around that theme. And so I'm really focused on that right now. And I came over to her house. We spent hours and hours getting rid of her ex-fiance's son's stuff, cleaning. We cleaned the walls. We cleaned so much. It still needs more, but we got most of it out and it feels so good. My favorite part was the bathroom just because every time I walk by now, it makes me so happy. I'm so proud of her and I really want to see her through this breakup and see her be with a man who really treats her well and loves her like I do. We're gonna mop the walls and everything in this bathroom. Erin has an OC to mop and when it's full of water, it can get pretty heavy. The handle hurts my hands, so I just cut up a pool noodle from the dollar store to use as a cushion. And make sure that you check out my pool noodle hack video because it will save your hands and make it easier to stay clean and organized. So I had the hardest time learning how to use an Elcedar mop, but I finally learned you just like lightly hold it, you don't hold it tight. And then for those of you who didn't understand it like me, you hold it loosely and then spin. The secret of the Osterder mop and why I love it so much and a lot of people do is because you can get it as dry as you need it because you don't want water and detergent to drip down the walls and so you can spin it. I usually do like eight times I think. It's wet enough that it cleans and it's dry enough that it doesn't leave a puddle on the floor. Let me get over you. Maybe you don't want to know. But you don't see what you have in front of you. This is the massage table on the massage room right now. And then we're gonna use this trash bin for the bathroom. Wow, it's so clean. It smells so good. Yes, it smells amazing. So good. Before they dated, she had a smaller apartment, but having him move in with his two kids, plus having a baby, they needed something bigger. He had some financial issues, so she's the only one on the lease. And each month, I see her go through the anxiety of how she's gonna make the rent. This house is so much bigger than she needs now, and while he does help some, it's unpredictable and not as much as when they live together. While we were cleaning the kitchen, I noticed uh, this picture frame and I wasn't sure what was going on, but then I realized that that's the picture of Aaron's family, the one that's not together anymore. I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter 
So as you can see, like my rug is really gross and it's annoying to clean. My son gets stuff all over it. So no matter if I clean it with my rug vacuum or whatever, it's always gonna just start looking gross. So we're just gonna actually remove it today. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love. This bathroom is off the master bedroom and they had a dark shower curtain that looked really masculine to me. It just needed a clean and we got a new shower curtain to add. I thought it was funny that I accidentally grabbed the sad daddy scrub daddy instead of the regular one that has a smiley face. This one is frowning and it's kind of appropriate because even though she might seem fun because she is, she's also sad. I have seen how hard this is for her and I am like a rock. I will try to help her through it, whatever I can do. And I know she can do it. And I know she's in the really hardest phases, like the first month or two months. So we're just gonna clean and fix this bathroom up too. So baby, bye. It's for the best that you know why. You gotta leave me here tonight. Before we make this even This is her ex's son's room, and it was a lot cleaner than the other room, but it still needs some work, and I don't think it's been vacuumed in a long time. She's hoping to maybe get a roommate or keep this as a guest room. Aaron's baby with her ex is two years old now, and this is his room. We needed to wash the sheets and pick up toys. He's having a rough time adjusting to not living with his dad, and it breaks my heart every time I hear him say, baby miss daddy. And I think she's gonna find a better man. She just has to keep going. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt even more than this does. Something about you is so this room was my stepson's room and um, I am going to turn it into a massage therapy room because we had a food truck together but now I can't use that income so I have to use this room as a massage therapy room to like have clients come and work on them. Let's go ahead and look at some things. Oh, it's only a dollar. I was hoping to find more. They already moved out, but they definitely left so much in the room that we've now got to take care of. We'll get out of here and make this really pretty so Erin can have her massage business back and she can have clients in here. That will be so great for her. I'm really excited to help her do that and to see this room be pretty and feminine. So they left a lot of stuff behind, like his oldest son's room was just a total mess. That's what we worked on turning into my massage therapy room, but like the walls were gross. Uh, we had to get all of that clean. And so, you know, once we got that room clean, we can move in like my massage stuff and make it beautiful again. And his bathroom was a complete disaster because that was one of our biggest arguments because I had just asked, I said, we moved in, like, you only have one responsibility in this house, please keep the bathroom clean downstairs for guests. And it was just impossible. I can't be the one you keep running to whenever you feel down. I can't be that someone always be there when something's wrong yeah because it's easier to I can't rely on you now. it's been a while since we filmed this video and Erin's massage business is picking up and she is slowly rebuilding a life without her ex i'm proud of what we did here and how hard we worked you can't fix everything in a few days but you can take out the trash and you can begin to heal if you enjoyed this video please comment and subscribe for more cleaning stories like this i can't rely